Ready. LeBron, there were a number of moments, uh, I suppose, that the game could have gone either way, but what stands out to you, whether it was the Luka 3 or the various fouls that could have, would have, should have, on either end, are there things that are at the top of that list for you? No. A uh, good fall game between both teams, and both teams had the opportunity to win the game, and they took advantage of it, and they capitalized. You guys had the five-game winning streak. Uh, that aside, there have been a lot of these moments of, of close games where you know it seemed like the result could have gone your way. How, how do you keep the, the team sort of motivated through that as you get further into the season? Just keep playing the game. Um, you know, each game is its own challenge, and tonight was another challenge, and um, we had some ups and downs, um, but we have, gave ourselves a chance to win, and we just didn't con- 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 through uh, late in the game. Thanks. Well, when I was asking Troy in the locker room about the no call to enter regulation, we hear you reacting to it in the locker room. Uh, just yeah, the, the referees claimed that it was the correct call of security's interpretation. Obviously. Uh, when the game's going on in, in overtime and you guys are trying, you know, obviously both teams figure each other out at that point and you're just trying to um, you know, get the best look possible. When you're not having your best night from three, does it enter in your mind or is it just, I got a shot here, I'm going to take it? No, nah, when I got a shot, I take it. I work too hard on my game and on my craft to ever question myself of any shot that I take. So just an off night for me, um, you know, but um, I don't question any shot that I take. LeBron, um, Darvin said he, he wished that uh, he had told the defense to blitz Luca on the on the last shot of regulation. What did you think of um, the looks that you you guys gave Luca on some of those key shots? And what did you think of the defense overall and Luca in the game? Uh, big time players make big time shots. It's that simple. Dan, LeBron, this this team has been. Uneven, I would say, like in, in, in crunch time situations. <clears throat> have, have you seen any through lines? Um, you know, like I mean, similar to the Boston game, you guys fight back to put yourselves in a, in a position to win. Um, same tonight, it's happened a couple other times. So what, what are you seeing kind of late um, in your guys' execution? Uh, the one consistent thing that we have is uh, a billion different lineups. That's the most consistent. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and I was going to say, and when it's, for whatever reason, when it's that way, um, does that just kind of, in, in those moments, does that just kind of push everything to a stop when there's no rhythm, trust, continuity? With it's not me? about trust, because we, we have trust with whoever's on the floor. But at the end of the day, um, you know, you, you have teams have closing lineups. And when we got so many guys that's in and out of the lineup, or we got guys that's, you know, right now we got a lot of guys that's banged up. So it's almost like who's in a good rhythm that night is going to be probably on the floor along with myself and Russ. Hey, Bron. Uh, I know you mentioned that you've taken a lot from opposing coaches over the years, like Pop, Casey, Carlisle. Um, obviously, uh, Jay Kidd used to be your coach. I'm curious what are sort of the main things that you've learned from him, both playing against him as a coach and as an opposing coach now? Um, not only has he been my coach, he's been my teammate as well in the Olympics. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I've been knowing Jay for quite a while. He's my, uh, I've went against him as well as a player in the, po- in the postseason as well. In my early days in Cleveland, he's in uh, New Jersey at the time, but um, I, I've never been great at this, but he's always tried to preach to me about patience, always. Um, he's one of the most calm and collective guys that I've, uh, that I've ever been around. He never gets too high, never gets too low, and always has a great calming voice about you know, the positive side of things. Um, I haven't been great at that. At that. Uh, but I definitely, I listen to him. I just, it's hard to apply sometimes. But um, he's definitely taught me a lot. Uh, I take that, I take that friendship and that brother, um, that brotherhood that we have, that we've built over 20 years, um, with a lot of uh, uh, gratitude. Yes, LeBron, you guys are just past the halfway mark. Um, obviously, you had a five-game win streak. Back-to-back losses just now, kind of dampening that. What are you feeling in terms of, pay, are you feeling patience right now that this team can kind of come around and, and be what you want it to be? 
Um, I think ever since, uh, you know, we made the trade for AD to bring him here, our whole thing was about health. It's not changed. Um, you know, you guys asked us, you know, asked us uh, before the season started, you know, do we think Russ can work? And I said, well, how can we know that if we've not been on the floor together? I think you guys said we was on the floor like 21 games last year. You know, so um, we haven't had the, the best luck of um, of health, I would say, especially this year. Now, again, um, so I can't tell you what I what I can want out of this ball club until I mean we got AR out, AD's out, Pat was out tonight, Lonnie's been out. You know, we got those are four of our big time rotation guys, and AT, AD being the biggest. You know, so I can't tell you that.